Hi again, this is Dr. Steele. I'm going to continue on with an explanation of the syllabus. I wanted to go back to the assignment of your community resource paper because I wanted you to get an idea of what it is that you should be asking these counselors when you interview them. A couple of questions that I think will be really important is going to be uh, what is their educational level? Um, what is their philosophy of Christian counseling? Or what is their philosophy of counseling? Um, what kind of approach do they take? Um, are they psychoanalytical? Are they cognitive behavioral? Are they emotionally focused? Do they work with families, individuals, and couples? Do they work with teenagers? Do they work with children? Um, are they taking referrals? What does the, what is their fee? Do they accept insurance? Do they have a sliding scale? And those would be the type of questions that I would think would be appropriate to ask them. As I mentioned, you may be able to get some of that information from the website, and um, but I also want you to have some kind of personal contact with them. I would think that that would be something that they would look forward to in that uh, they would want to be creating uh, uh, their own network um, within their community. So do not wait on this assignment. Um, I would start it as soon as possible because you don't want to be caught uh, the last week with them not calling you back and then you're starting to panic and then um, you're going to be worried about getting points counted off. So it is, the assignment is worth 60 points and it is due March 21st. And you'll upload it to the LMS. The next assignment, the big one, is Philosophy of Christian Counseling paper worth 100 points. This paper is going to be kind of a culmination of what you believe about God, what you believe about human nature, how you think change occurs, and how you would conduct a counseling session based on all of the above. So there are um, some specific areas that I'm asking you to cover. Uh, you can see that um, it is going to be a six to eight double space paper. Uh, you're going to have to be very concise, but you're going to cover the areas of human nature, how you believe change takes place, uh, the role of sin, the role of Holy Spirit and Scripture in counseling, including your views of secular and humanistic theories, which you can use TAN's book for that, as well as your personal reflections. And if you see, go to Appendix A, you'll see that I have all of those areas listed with the points that are associated with them. And so when you look at some of the secular and humanistic theories, they're going to indicate that uh, man is good, and um, there's going to be some positive um, therapies that um, are going to come from that standpoint. What do you believe about man? Uh, do you believe that we are born in the image of God? Do you believe that we're, in, and what does that mean that we're born in the image of God in terms of our human nature? And then what do, what are you going to do with this idea of sin? Um, is all problems sin? Are all mental illnesses sin? Uh, it, are there other factors that are going to have to be considered? Um, and uh, that idea of um, I'm going to be presenting on secular and humanistic theories. How can you use them? How would you use them? Would you not use them at all? Um, do you think they're okay for people who have further training, but for you they would not um, be helpful because of your limited training. But most importantly, there is going to be 20 points of this uh, paper that's going to uh, be counted uh, for your personal reflections. And what this means is you've had previous history with counseling. You can include that. That's going to basically influence your philosophy of Christian counseling. Perhaps you've had family members who've had great experiences or you know, maybe awful experiences. Maybe um, you know you see yourself as somebody who's more who's going who's wanting to take more classes, get more 
uh, education and get more training um, that this has you know helped you to see that um, there it's actually a very huge field um, that I after all the study that I've done for the past 16 years am still learning every single day uh, I continue to learn I am becoming an emotionally focused therapist and uh, I cannot believe how difficult it is to get certified um, but I continue to learn about myself and about other people as, as I'm going through this process. Um, you do need a minimum of eight references. You can use your textbook. You can use um, articles or books. I do have a pretty um, succinct uh, bibliography in the syllabus that you can reference. And then when you, up, when you get the um, assignment done, uh, by May 2nd, please upload it to the course LMS, and again, one point will be counted off for each late day. But I know none of you are going to be late. I have to put that in there because every once in a while I have a student who uh, doesn't seem to remember when things are due. So, to make it fair to everybody else, I think that there's got to be some kind of standard that we hold to. Now, this last uh, assignment is another really big assignment, and it's going to be you doing a video session. You're going to, I need you to be thinking about this, and don't do it until the end of the semester, but you're going to actually do videos, you're going to actually counsel somebody, and you're going to videotape it. So I want to see visual and audio. Um, that way um, you can, um, you know, do do an actual counseling session. Do not do a mock counseling session. Do not do a role play. But then after you do the session, you're going to watch yourself in action. I'm not looking so much at what happened with the other person. I'm looking at what happened with you. And there's going to be very specific things that I'm going to ask you to do in this um, counseling session. And you can look at um, the appendies. Uh, B that uh, and C, which kind of outline what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for your your presence. You know, did you did you um, basically uh, have empathy for the person? Did you stay on their agenda? What therapeutic techniques did you use? Um, did you um, find any any patterns or themes in what they were talking about? Did you identify any of their strengths? Uh, did you help them to come up with a goal that was smart, um, specific, measurable, attainable, and realistic, time limited? And then did you use any of what, 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 how did change come about through the session in terms of did you, um, did you focus on a cognitive thinking change, an emotional feeling change, or just maybe a behavioral action change? and just identifying those things. So after you watch your video um, session, then you're going to want to do an evaluation, which will be six to eight double space pages. And I do want you to um, make sure you use Turabian and um, as well as on your philosophy of Christian counseling paper, of course. But make sure that you are um, paying attention to what I'm looking for. I know that some of you have a lot of experience, others of you probably have never counseled before, and um, you will do well if you follow the directions. And um, we will be talking about how to get the videos to me. That's probably the most complicated piece. I have had a student actually upload a Vimeo to LMS, but most of you are probably going to need to be thinking about um, downloading it um, and into my Dropbox. If you do use YouTube, recognize that you can't publish unless you have the publishing, pay the publishing fee uh, for more than 15 minutes. Um, and, but just be thinking about how technologically savvy you are and, and get a plan that works for you so that you can get this to me so I can get it graded. Um, but you can put the evaluation piece um, on LMS. So this is going to be due both pieces, the um, video and the evaluation are worth a total of 100 points and try to get it to me by May 20th, which is that last week of, of class. Um, and then when you do your evaluation of your video, I'm looking for you to identify that you 
um, kind of followed uh, that protocol that I just talked about. But I also want you to add your personal evaluation. What did you see yourself do well? What did you see yourself do that you were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. That's not something that I want to be part of my um, interaction when I do counseling. Um, and then where you want to go from here in terms of uh, the ability uh, to counsel and making counseling part of your ministry. So that is your final. Um, I do not have any uh, other papers or any kind of test in this class as you can tell. It's uh, more practical hands-on and um, and my grading is usually fair. Uh, most people get counted off when they just don't follow my directions. So I have given you a long syllabus. I've given you appendices for um, all of the assignments um, pretty much. Um, if you have any questions please contact me. Let me know. Um, don't guess. I'd much rather you um, feel confident in moving forward in these assignments and uh, getting the grade that you deserve than to try to think that you've got to guess what I want because that's not the way it works in my classes. So you can see a final summary of the grading. You can see the points. Total of 440. I think I have at least uh, 10 points that um, in addition to this that you're able to get. Uh, so if you find that you lose a point here and there, don't panic uh, because I have some hidden points uh, within the class. Um, but I also want you to recognize that uh, I am looking for excellence. Um, I'm looking for you to really make this a class that, that changes your life, that changes your ministry. Um, and I want to be, I want to help that, help you to make that happen. So you can see these are the required text. The main text is the strategic pastoral counseling, the short term structured model. As um, people who are perhaps getting one counseling class, I'm trying to give you a structured um, model that you can utilize until you get um, more training or until you get more experience. The Scazzaro book is the one that you're going to do your uh, summaries on. And then the Tan book is a book that um, gives us a, a Christian perspective of all the secular humanistic theories. Tan is a professor at Fuller, and uh, he has probably written more on this than anybody is of late. And then there's a recommended text by Gary Collins, kind of the grandfather of Christian counseling. Um, it is a it's a big book, but it's not that expensive. A lot of students have told me that they have found it helpful, especially the last half of the book talks about the various um, mental disorders like depression and anxiety, and gives a lot of um, real pointed information about that from a Christian perspective. So here you see the course syllabus, um, which goes over what we're going to be doing every week. So on February one through five. It does say overview of syllabus, which you're going to do. You can watch as you're watching these, obviously these YouTubes. But secondly, we will be meeting on Tuesday, um, and we will be doing the chat, and I will be ask, answering any questions that you have about the syllabus. And then you can see that each week there is a topic with the reading and the assignments that are associated with it. So. Uh, you'll want to put these dates on your calendars. And then I have the bibliography, which um, has a lot of really good resources on it for you. And, and then I have some articles, which sometimes are a little bit easier for you guys to get a hold of. And then some plagiarism um, information for you to be aware of, netiquette. Um, I know myself, my daughter tells me that sometimes I scream at her when I'm texting her and I'm ask, I ask her, what are you talking about? Um, because I don't use capital letters. So uh, just be aware um, of some of the netiquette that is helpful as we're trying to do the discussion in particular. And then I just want to draw your attention to the appendix that you really want to pay attention to before you turn in any of these papers. Appendix A is going to be the grading rubric for the philosophy paper, and you can see that um, it, it looks